Hello everyone. This video is for class 5th students and the subject is computer. So our first chapter is computer generations. And in this chapter we will be studying these things. The various generation of computers and the various types of computers. So let's start with it. Students, nowadays the computers that we see are very powerful and small in size. But they were not like that in the early ages. They have taken a long time for development. The history of development of computers is classified into different generations of computers. Each generation of computer is marked by a major technological development resulting in better, cheaper, faster and smaller computers. Let us take a glance at each generation of computers. So let's start with, with the first generation computers which is from 1940 till 1956. The first generation computers were very large in size. They occupied whole rooms. In these computers thousands of vacuum tubes were used. The vacuum tubes generated a lot of heat and burned out frequently. The computers of this generation were very expensive. Now here you can see a footage of the first generation computer. This is the first generation computer and see that how much space it is occupying. Okay. Now comes the second generation computers which is from 1956 till 1964. In the second generation, transistors were used in place of vacuum tubes. These transistors were more reliable, consumed less power and were compact in size. They were cheaper than first generation computers. Programming languages like COBOL and FORTRAN were used at this time and here you can see few of the examples of the second generation computer and here comes the footage for the second generation computer and it is the IBM 7090 okay so this is the second generation computer now third generation computers and is from 1964 till 1971 in this generation, integrated circuits, ICs we can say, were used in place of transistors. Computers became smaller and more reliable machines than previous generation of computers. And here few of the examples written for the third generation computers. And this is the footage for the third generation computer. Fourth generation computers is from 1971 and it's going at a present time. In the fourth generation computers, microprocessors were used. Here you can see the photo of microprocessor. The use of microprocessors resulted in decreased size and increased efficiency of the computers. It gave rise to personal computer, you can say PC, revolution, in this generation, concept of network and internet was introduced. All the high-level languages were used in this generation. Some examples of fourth generation are written over here. It's DEC 10, STAR 1000, CRAY 1 and PDP 11. Lastly come the fifth generation computers, which is present and beyond. Computers of this generation use ULSI, the full form is Ultra Large Scale Integration Technology. They are based on the use of artificial intelligence, AI, you can say software. These kind of computers are mostly useful in robotics, voice recognition, gaming, etc. Now that you have learnt about various generation computers. Now in the next part of our video, we will be studying about the types of computers. Thank you.